from Elizabeth. After all this. Thank you. The newly crowned Rose of Tralee. Have you stopped shaking yet? Yes, yes. I think I'm a bit too tired. There's not enough energy to kind of get the wobbles. No. It was a, a long night? Yes. Yes, and, it was. Yes. And, and good fun? <laughs> yes, a lot of fun. We had a, a big group of Irish. Uh, we had all the sort of the supporters in one little room, all in a circle, singing songs and having a wee dance afterwards, after the ball. So it was amazing. And once they start, they Once they got... start. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Tell me something about yourself. Um, um, you're a student in Dunedin. Mm -hmm. Of what? Um, education. Um, Bachelor of Education and Primary Teaching. Um, and then possibly going on to do some educational psychology. So you plan to be a primary teacher? Mm, that, that thing changes quite regularly. Um, I think I would like to do some primary teaching. I, I love the children, I love the classroom, so at some stage, yes, but I think in the meantime I'd like to further my study a little bit, get a bit more understanding about brains and how they work. Okay, yeah. all right. So a, a more academic take on primary teaching rather than the practice of teaching itself. Yeah, I just like to know what the children, what's going on in their heads and how to best help them learn, yeah. But when you're not studying, what do you do with yourself? Oh, well, you want me to list everything or just <laughs> pick one thing or... Your choice, your oh. choice. If, if, if anything was possible, what, what, was it, what is it that you would choose to, to be doing when not studying? Oh, the ultimate would be my... Hill walking. Hill walking. <laughs> hill walking. I have had to change to hill walking. Not allowed to go tramping anymore. Um, hill walking. I like to get outdoors and get, I have to be on a hill. It has to be up high. Get some views. Get some fresh air. Um, get my my joints going. Um, carry a big heavy pack around and and feel very alive. So definitely getting out into Fiordland, the tramping capital of the world. Yeah. Into the mud and I the muck. I mean, the hill walking capital <laughs> of the world. <laughs> <hill walking. laughs> Sorry. Into the mud and the muck and the rain and, mm, the, yep. and the smoky open fires and so yeah. on. Okay. Oh, the huts are actually quite luxurious. They're, they're quite nice. Right, in the middle of Fjordland. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you entered the Rose of Tralee contest um, because you're of Irish descent. Mm. What Irish descent? Tell us about that. Well, it, it all comes from my granny, um, my mother's mother. Um, she was from Kells. She was born on the Rockfield estate where her father was a butler. Um, and she went to school in, oh, I, I don't want to say it actually. Let's just leave that. In another town. Um, but, so that's County Mead, I've heard. My parents are over there right now and they've just done some research. We thought it was County Wicklow, but it's County Mead. So, um, so and then she, um, was a nurse and she travelled across to England during the war and met my grandfather who was a surgeon and um, they got married and came to New Zealand after having I think their second child. So my mother was born here in New Zealand but um, my granny was... Was born in Ireland? Yeah. And your grandfather's Irish. English? Um, Scottish. Scottish? Oh, so you are quite Celtic as it were? Yes. yes. Excellent, excellent. Right. Um, why the Rose of Tralee? You had, had you ever heard of the contest before this year? Did you know anything about it? Well, when I was 19, um, I had a friend, Katie Bennett, who represented Otago in, um, in the Nationals, and then she also represented Palmerston North. Um, she just asked me if she could borrow some clothes, and, um, and then she started talking to me a bit more about what she was doing, and um, I just loved this girl. She, she's over in Australia now, but... Um, just thought she was the most fantastic person and didn't realise how the connection we had was was mostly because of the Irish bond that we shared. We're both so warm towards each other and when I found out what the Rosa Trilly was about, what she was doing, she um, got me right into it and um, so, so I gave it a go the next year round. So I was 19 actually when I did that. Um, yeah. So this is the second time that you've entered? Well, sort of. Okay. Um, the girl that did it the year that I, that I, um, the girl that won the year that I did it, she got married quite shortly afterwards, and so, so the Irish Society just sort of put me forward and, and elected me and gave me my sash and, right. and uh, sort of welcomed me as, as the Otago Rose. Okay, alright. Yeah. Now you've been in Otago since um, Thursday evening? That's right. Right. And it's been fairly full on, hasn't it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Are you a bit worried that, that you 
you still have no real idea of what Tralee is going to be like? I don't know if worried would be the word. Definitely anticipating a bit. Everyone keeps saying to me, you have no idea what you're in for. Um, and I definitely don't. Um, I don't think I'm worried. I'm kind of excited, um, anticipating that it will be a lot of energy. I will need to um, just keep on that level at all times. And Right. Yeah. Yeah. You did mention that you needed to find some way of keeping your energy levels up. Yes, yeah. I think I'll have to get very fit before I go. <laughs> okay, all right. And you're going to be busy between now and the time you leave. Mm. Have you given any thought to what it is you're going to have to do? Well, oh. Well, I thought I'd go straight to the ODT when I get home. Right. Let them know what, I, what I've done and what's happening. Right. Um, so they can get my name out there into, into Dunedin so everyone knows. Um, and then I thought I would. I've got to hand in a few assignments next week because I'll oh, be doing that you've, first. But... You've got work due. Okay. Yeah, focus <laughs> um, on that. Focus and then on. I think it'll be trying to find the dresses. That'll be the probably the next step. Apparently we need 20 dresses. Outfits. Um, 20 outfits. So mm. that'll be a bit of work. Um, yeah. So I might contact a few people that might be prepared to sponsor me. Um, Shopping. Some clothes. Yes, I got a bit of a, a bit of a check, so I'm quite excited to look at how, how is the best way to spend that. Mm. Um, yeah. Now, the last few days have been have been fairly busy, haven't they? Yes. Um, but you've enjoyed yourself. It's been oh, a great event. Just oh, I was just so elated by the whole thing. You know, even like just standing up on stage, holding all the girls' hands. I just thought, what a wonderful time we've had. I just this was enough for me. So it's sort of like uh, being handed like another big present on top of all these other presents I've had, which is these lovely relationships that have been built. So I'm just I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, it's been. Excellent, excellent. All right, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you.